There is currently over 30 limited time promo items for Modern Warfare 3. There's like five or six different operator skins, some weapon blueprints, and so much more. It is my goal on this channel to keep you fully up to date with all limited time promos and offers for Call of Duty. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the different promos. We're gonna show you what the items look like. Then we're gonna go over the most efficient and easiest ways to get these items. If you wanna stay fully up to date with stuff like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. It's also important to note, I'm not sponsored by any of the companies in this video. I don't get commission, I don't get a kickback. So whether or not you buy these items, it doesn't affect me. The only goal of this video is to inform you guys of the different promos that are currently going on. So starting off, we've got the Little Caesars promo. And in my opinion, the rewards you get this time around are way better than the rewards you got last year for Modern Warfare 2. The regions this is available in is US, Canada, and Mexico. So if you don't live in one of these regions, you're gonna have to trade with someone or have a friend get these for you. And the promotion works a little bit differently. Last year, you just had to get one code in and unlock everything. This year, you've gotta get two separate codes to be able to get all of these items. Now, how you get one of these codes is you have to make a purchase that is at least $3 and that's gonna get you a code. You can go in store, uh, but in my opinion, this is a little bit easier to do online because if you make an online purchase, uh, you're gonna get a code in your email a few minutes after your payment goes through. Whereas if you go in the store, you're gonna have to upload your receipt on the website and there's just a little bit of additional time. I like to get that code instantly, but either way, it's not gonna make a huge difference. So with these orders, since you only have to spend $3, if you wanna do this max efficiency, you could just do two separate orders of something that's like $3, you get crazy bread, you get you know a brownie, but it has to be two separate orders. It can't be, if you do an order that's over $3, like six or eight, you still only get one code. It doesn't matter how much you spend, you only get one code per order. So I would recommend if you're just trying, if you don't care what food you get and you're just trying to do this max efficiency, uh, just buy two $3 items, but make sure they're two separate checkout orders and that will get you two different codes. Then you wanna head to this site, which I am gonna have linked below. You wanna make an account. You're gonna link your Activision account. Uh, if you went in store, you're gonna have to upload your receipt and that takes a little while for it to get verified. Uh, and then once it gets verified, you'll have your items in game. Uh, if you have a code, you just enter the code and you're gonna get your items right away. Obviously, you can't use any of these items till Modern Warfare 3 comes out because these items are not usable in Modern Warfare 2. And now for the rewards you get for your first purchase or code that you enter, you're gonna get a pizza charm that's got pepperoni in the shape of a skull. Pretty cool, actually. I could see myself using this. Uh, then you get an emblem that says hot and ready. Uh, don't see myself ever using this. Uh, then you got a hot and ready calling card. Once again, pretty basic, probably never gonna use this. For your second purchase or code that you enter, you're gonna get an actual full-on operator skin. This is not something we got last year with Little Caesar, so I love to see this. It looks like a Milsim version of a pizza guy. It's got some hot and ready logo, more hot and ready, got some crazy bread. He's got a pizza cutter. Uh, the most interesting part has to be the two giant meatball grenades on the side here which definitely looks like they're trying to insinuate something. I'm just I'm just kind of glad they put them here instead of rotating them in the front. But um, yeah, two giant meatball grenades on the side of this operator. Uh, with every code you enter on top of getting these permanent rewards, you're also going to get dual double XP. I wasn't able to find out how much you get. I think it's one hour per code. So if you're trying to stock up on double weapon XP and double XP, uh, every code you enter in uh, is gonna get you, I think one hour. And this works after you get the permanent reward. So if you wanna keep buying more Little Caesars and get in a, you know, a third code, a fourth code, you can still enter in more codes. You're not gonna get any more actual items, but you will continue to get double XP. There is another part of this promo, but it's for US only. With your order, if you also get any two topping pizza, on top of the other code you got, you're gonna get another code, and this one gives you two hours of dual XP. So if you're trying to farm up double XP tokens, this is one way to do it, but it's gonna be more expensive. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do this more than once. I personally didn't do this because I've already got enough dual XP, but this is one thing to think about. But wait, there's more. With each day you enter in a code, you're also gonna be entered into a sweepstakes to earn some IRL items. You can get a copy of Modern Warfare 3, you can get a beanie, a HyperX headset, a water bottle, and a backpack. Personally, I'm not sure I'd wanna wear a backpack that's advertising on the back that I am hot and ready. Uh, funny enough, I actually won one of these sweepstakes last year, a couple months after Modern Warfare 2's launch. I got an email and then uh, this beanie showed up at my door. It's got like a digital pattern on it that's also got some pizza in the pattern as well. It's not a terrible looking beanie. What ruins it for me is this patch on the front that says 
Modern Warfare 2, Mountain Dew, and Little Caesars. They couldn't really decide what logo to put on the front, so they got this kind of awkward patch that's got uh, three separate logos. So this, you know, I could, I really want the in-game items, but on top of this, if you care, you will be entered into a sweepstakes. Next, we have a promo for Control Freak, which isn't surprising. Call of Duty usually does some sort of collaboration with them every single year. However, this year, there's quite a few different options. The first and main option is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Collector's Edition. This comes with a red set of Control Freaks. Uh, there's PlayStation and Xbox, so it doesn't matter what controller you use, they have options for both of them. It also comes with this metal supply box, our loot crate case. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is the version that I got. If you're buying these, you do have to be careful. Any of the Control Freak promos you buy, the code is gonna be in the packaging. It's not gonna come via email. So when you're opening these, make sure to look out for a little piece of paper that has your code on it, because if you accidentally throw that away, you're not gonna get your digital item. Uh, and with this, you are going to get a Konai weapon charm. Uh, these, which is the ones that I got, cost $30. But with Control Freak, if you spend over $25, you get free shipping. So you don't got to worry about shipping for that. Uh, and you are able to use a discount code to make it cheaper. Like I said, I don't have any connections with these companies. So I don't have a discount code and I don't get a kickback. But my friend DK, he's got a code. Uh, if you use code Dynamite, you'll get 10% off your order. And he does get a kickback for that. There are more options, though. So here's another option. This is just Control Freaks. You're not going to get the little collector's edition box. This costs $20. However, uh, by the time you pay for shipping, because since it's not over $25, you are going to have to pay shipping for this, which I, I checked. I went in and checked. That's like $8 for me. So this almost costs the same price as buying, you know, the special edition ones. Uh, there's a third option that's even cheaper. This one's only $11.99. And by the time you factor in the shipping and tax, you're probably going to be paying about $18. So this is the cheapest option here. These aren't like full on control freaks. These are just like little no slip grips, uh, but it doesn't matter out of all three we just showed, doesn't matter which one you buy. They all give you the same digital item and getting more of these codes does nothing for you. You can only enter in one of these codes and one code is going to get you the charm. And that is it. You have to go to call of duty.com slash redeem to enter your code in. If you play on PC, there are a few other options, but these get a little bit ridiculous. This is a specialty keycap. And if you know anything about computers uh, and keycaps, these get really, really expensive for designer ones like this. Currently not in stock because they haven't released it yet, but this is $89. Uh, it does come with the weapon charm, but if you're just trying to get the weapon charm, this is a really expensive way to go about it. So I only recommend this if for some reason you really, really want this keycap. There's also a mouse pad, but unfortunately the mouse pad is the only item out of all of these that doesn't say anything about getting the weapon charm. So for this, you're probably just gonna get the mouse pad. But there are a few other ways to go about this. If you're an Amazon Prime customer, you're able to get the free shipping and they do have these listed on Amazon here. Uh, you have to be careful. You can't just buy any control freaks. You need to make sure the packaging on it in the front here says digital in-game item included. And if that's the case, it's going to have that little slip of paper in this packaging somewhere. Just be careful not to accidentally throw it away. I'm going to have the Amazon page listed down below as well. Full disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you buy something using that link, I do get a kickback, but it has nothing to do with me being partnered with this product directly. That's just because it's listed on Amazon. Then next we have what's probably gonna be the rarest set of promo items for Modern Warfare 3 and probably gonna end up being very rare items overall because these are pre-order rewards, meaning unless they change how this works, you're not gonna be able to get these items once the game officially comes out. And you can't just pre-order this anywhere. You have to pre-order this from the EE store, which is in the UK. Uh, and unfortunately, you don't get the code for these items right when you pre-order it. I read through the terms and conditions. You don't get the code that unlocks these items until after the game's been bought and it's shipping to you. So you can't just pre-order it and then cancel it right away once you get the code. But yes, if you pre-order it from the EE store, once the game comes out and it starts shipping to you, you're going to get a code uh, that gives you a charm here, which is, I think that's gas. So a pretty good looking gas charm, an emblem and a calling card. This is very similar to the UK Papa John's promo last year. Uh, I really like this charm. I wish I was able to get this charm. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a flat charm or a 3D charm. Uh, the emblem is cool, but I got tons of cool emblems and I got tons of cool calling cards. Really want this charm here, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get these items because I don't live in the UK. Moving on to the next promo, we've got another exclusive pre-order bonus. This one being for GameStop. So yes, you're going to have to buy and pre-order the game at GameStop and you're going to get the direct action pack. 
And just like the last one for the EE store, uh, you don't get this code right away. Uh, online customers, code will be emailed within two business days after your order ships. So you're already gonna have to have paid for it and it's already gonna have to be shipped to you. But if you buy it in store and get the in-store pickup, the code will be printed on your receipt at the time of pickup. So this is another one where you're gonna have to buy the copy of the game specifically at GameStop. In doing so, you're gonna get three separate items and these items aren't the craziest things. Uh, this is the Call of Duty Endowment Direct Action Pack. You're gonna get the Call of Duty Endowment Calling Card, which looks like this. Not sure if it's animated. Uh, you are going to get an animated emblem. This makes me think that the calling card's probably going to be animated. Uh, then you're going to get this sticker, which is a dude coming out of the water. So nothing too big. It's a calling card, an emblem, and a sticker. To me, I'm going to skip out on this because I'm not going to buy another $70 copy of the game. Uh, to get these three cosmetic items right here. Next, we've got the monster promo. And even though this is probably the most well-known promo, most people don't know about all the items. Depending on where you get your cans, there's hidden additional bonus items you can get. And we're gonna explain all of that. But this year, the rewards are really good for this. And I've already gone ahead and I've gotten my codes for these. So I'm gonna explain the process. But keep in mind, I am in the US. So the process I'm gonna explain is how it works in the US. I've heard outside of the US, it's a little bit different. I think in the UK, you've got to get the special marked ones that actually say Modern Warfare 3 on it, and it's on the top of the tab. So be a little bit more careful if you're outside of the US. I haven't seen the exact process for that, but in the US, this is how it works. You've got to go into a store, you've got to buy a can of Monster, and you have to keep your receipt because you've got to upload it on this website right here, calloduty.monsterenergy.com. The cheapest way I found to go about this was to go to Walmart, buy a four pack of Monster that's all wrapped together. Once again, doesn't have to have the Call of Duty branding, then buy two Monster cans that are by themselves. Uh, this was a little bit cheaper than just buying six cans individually. But on top of Walmart being one of the cheaper places to buy these, there's another reason I suggest you buy these at Walmart, which we'll get into in just a bit. Then once you have bought your six cans and they can all be on the same receipt, it doesn't matter. You don't have to space them apart. Um, with previous promos, you've had to do one per receipt, but no, all six of the cans can be bought on one single receipt. You're gonna go to this website, you're gonna upload it. You've gotta wait for them to verify the code, which can take a couple of days. Once your receipts have been verified, this is how you go about getting your code because a lot of people have been confused on this. You go back to the page where you entered in the receipt. You click on the My Codes option here. It's gonna take you to this page. These right here are your different codes. You have to click on this. This is gonna show you your code on screen. You have to copy this. And now you have to go to calloduty.com slash redeem, enter your code, and then it's gonna be like, hey, you unlock this item. Now let's go over all the different rewards. So the first code you enter in is going to get you a weapon blueprint, which is pretty big. Usually they don't have weapon blueprints for these different promo things. You're gonna get the inner beast weapon blueprint, which not exactly sure which weapon that is there. It looks like it's an AR, but it's got the monster logo on the side of it. And it's got a black and green theme. So it's gonna be nice having a blueprint to use on launch day with different attachments. And you're also gonna get 15 minutes of double XP. For the second can that you enter in, you're gonna get the Beast Operator skin. So yes, we're getting another Operator skin here. Uh, it appears to be kind of like a Milsim Operator that's black with a little bit of green on it. And you're also going to get 15 minutes of double XP. Now for the third can you enter, this code is gonna get you caught in the Crosshairs Weapon Vinyl. This is the big weapon stickers that go on the side of your weapon. That's what it looks like. And you're also gonna get 15 minutes of double XP. For the fourth code that you enter, you're gonna get another operator skin. This being the zero chill operator skin. It's almost identical to the other operator skin you got, except instead of being black, it's a light gray and it has more of a light blue slash teal instead of the green. And you're also gonna get some double XP. Now for the fifth code you enter in, you're just gonna get future season content. So not exactly sure what this is or when we're gonna get it because the game comes out very soon, but you'll get some future season content. So I'll have to keep you up to date on exactly what this reward is. And you also get some double XP. For the six can, once again, this is also future season content. So we don't know what this is. It could be something as simple as an emblem, a sticker, could be another operator skin, a blueprint. We just don't know exactly yet. And you're also gonna get 15 minutes of double XP. Past this point, you can buy more monsters and you can get more codes. 
but all that's going to do is give you 15 minutes of double XP here. That's all that's going to happen. That's all you're going to get for this. Uh, and you can do that indefinitely. If you want to buy a thousand cans of monster, you can keep doing that all the way up to 40 hours of double XP and 40 hours of double weapon XP. So here's where things start to get complicated. All the rewards we've talked about so far, it doesn't matter where you buy your cans of monster at. These are the standard rewards you're going to get no matter where you buy it at. But if you buy it in special locations, you get additional bonus rewards on top of these. So if you buy it at Walmart, you are going to get an additional dual double XP token. So if you buy it at Walmart, you are going to get that normal 15 minute double XP token. But for each can you buy, you're going to get an additional 30 minutes of double XP and 30 minutes of double weapon XP. So you're getting a lot more per can if you buy it at Walmart. But there's also some permanent items as well. And unfortunately, um, yeah, these are going to be really hard if you want to try to collect all of these. There's the Unleash the Beast emblem. And to get this, you have to buy a monster can at Quick Trip, our Starter Bros exclusive. And um, where I live, uh, neither one of these are anywhere near me. So this one is going to be a little bit complicated for me to get it. But it's just an emblem at the end of the day. Then we've got the Energized Operation sticker. Um, and to get this, you have to buy a can of monster at Casey's, our price coppers exclusive. I've never heard of either of these before. I'm assuming these are gas stations. Uh, and the fact that I've never heard of either of these before, um, yeah, I guarantee you there's not any within two, 200 miles of me. Then for the third item, uh, we've got the trigger finger calling card. This is what that looks like. And to get this, you have to buy a can of monster at Kroger's, Murphy's, USA are quick trip exclusive. Once again, uh, I know what Kroger's is, but there's not any near me. Don't know what Murphy's is and don't know what quick trip exclusive is. So uh, these are three additional rewards you get. And these are going to be nice little bonuses if you live near any of these locations right here. Uh, but for most people, you probably only live near one of these if you live near any of them. It's very regional. These are all locations in the US and there's no shot you live near all of these so you're probably not going to be able to get all three of these unless you have a friend who's able to help you out but luckily it's just emblem stickers and calling cards the real good items come from right here at the beginning the ones where it doesn't matter where you buy it and in my opinion this set of promo rewards is a hundred percent worth doing because you get a weapon blueprint you get two different operator skins and you can get all of these for like eight to ten dollars which is a pretty good deal, uh, especially when you compare it to the other promos that we've talked about where you spend an additional $70 and you get some stickers and some calling cards. So that is not a bad deal whatsoever to pay $10, get two operator skins, weapon blueprint with some additional XP and some other cool stuff. The next promo is the Burger King promo. And just like last year, this one gives out some pretty good items, but it's also region lock and they might expand it in the future, but they might also not. Right now, this promo is going to be live in these locations listed here. And last year, the BK promo never came to the US. So I'm assuming even if they do expand some more regions, we're unfortunately not going to be able to get these codes in the US. But if you have a friend that lives in one of those regions, you can have them go and get it for you. You could probably also buy it on eBay for a marked up price. There's multiple ways you can go about getting these codes, even if you're not in the US. Uh, I don't know if this is for the other regions. But in Austria, you have to be at least 18 years old to get this Call of Duty code, which seems weird to me. Maybe that's part of some of their laws and stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on. But to get this code, you've got to purchase the Call of Duty Big King XXL at the menu, which is going to get you a burger, fries, and a soft drink. And with this, they're going to give you a little card just like last year. And on this card, there's going to be a code. Take that to calloduty.com slash redeem. Now, unfortunately, to get all the rewards for this promo, you're going to need to get two of these codes because the first code you enter in is going to get you the Burger Town Buddy emblem. This is what that looks like. Got Bubby here on the front. You're also going to get the Burger Town Flavor Calling Card. Once again, it features Bubby here. Love when they do that. And you're going to get 60 minutes of double XP. You don't get the best reward till after you enter in your second code. This is going to get you the Burger Town King Operator Skin. Uh, and out of all the limited time promo operators, this is probably the coolest one. It's a Milsim looking operator that kind of looks like the BK mascot. And then he's also got a golden 
crown on his head and he's got a giant golden chain so definitely a big step up from last year however this time you need two codes where last year you only needed one code to get the operator skin so it's a little bit harder to get and if you're in the u.s getting these are going to be a little bit tricky because you're going to have to buy them off of ebay or find someone who lives in one of those regions to get these for you that way you can get that operator skin but this is one i'm definitely going to get even though this promo isn't in my region the next promo is also exclusive but this one is platform exclusive you can only get this on PlayStation. You have to pre-order digitally on the PlayStation Store and you'll get the lockpick operator exclusive pack. These are what the items look like. You get this lockpick operator skin, which also gets you the lockpick operator. You get the Starry Knife knife blueprint and you get the American Gothic SMG blueprint. These items look pretty good. Like these are probably some of the best looking blueprints. The issue with this is when they say these are exclusive, these are fully exclusive. Like other people on other platforms can't even see when you're using these items. If you're using this operator skin or using this weapon blueprint, people are just going to see you as the default operator using a default weapon if they're not on PlayStation, which kind of ruins this for me. Eventually, they will be able to see it, but that is going to be a year from now. So a year from now, uh, once, you know, the exclusivity stuff goes away, People on other platforms are going to be able to get the lockpick operator. Um, they probably won't be able to get these specific blueprints. And then they'll actually be able to see it then. But who really cares if people can see it a year from now? I hate when they make these exclusive blueprints that aren't even viewable on other platforms. It's just kind of backwards to me. This next limited time promo is very strange because we don't know when it's coming or if it's even coming at all. And I even talked about this very same promo in my last year's video for Modern Warfare 2. This is the Ghost Condemned Operator Skin. We just got a pretty good look at it. Oh, no, don't pull up the map. We got a pretty good look at it right here. It is a very good looking skin for Ghost. And how you're able to get this, you have to pre-register for Warzone Mobile, which is free. You have to do this on the uh, Google uh, Apple Play Store or the Google, I don't know, whatever the Google phone store is and whatever the Apple store is, you have to pre-register for Warzone Mobile, which is free. And then when Warzone Mobile comes out, you're able to download the game, sign in with your Activision account, and it's going to add this skin to your Activision account. And what makes this so weird is they confirmed that this skin would not be coming to Warzone like the main series games, but it was found in the file. And you can actually force load in this skin in Warzone right now. Like if you see someone with an unlock tool, they can actually use this. So that makes me think that they changed their mind on that and it is coming. So I would highly recommend just to be safe to pull out your phone, whether you have an Android or an Apple, look for Warzone Mobile in the store, pre-register for it. That way you're safe. So, you know, a couple months from now, or I don't know, who knows when Warzone Mobile is coming out. It, this could come out. I don't know. They keep pushing back the date. So whenever Warzone Mobile does officially come out, all you have to do is install the game, which once again is free. Link your Activision account because if there is a chance you're able to get and use this operator skin in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, you definitely don't want to miss it. So it's worth the few seconds to just go ahead and pre-register. That way you're not going to miss out on this bad boy if it eventually comes out. Now you probably already know about this next set of items, but I'm still going to include it because technically it is a limited time promo and it's going away very soon. These are the pre-order rewards. So for these, you have to pre-order digitally. The first one being Zombie Ghost. Uh, and these pre-order rewards have to be done digitally. You can't go in store and get a disc. These are digital pre-orders. And you'll get these right away. They're usable in both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this is the Zombie Ghost Operator skin. Uh, you don't have to pre-order the Vault Edition to get this. And uh, probably one of the best pre-order rewards. It's, I mean, it's Zombie Ghost. It's pretty freaking cool. Then you also get the Soap Operator Pack. This comes with two different operator skins. We've got Soap Unmasked, uh, and it's actually an animated skin. You can see his pants slightly move down here. Uh, and there's also the Soap Unmasked. Once again, for this, you don't have to pre-order the Vault Edition, just the normal version of the game. This is the same as the other skin, except he's got this headgear on and it still moves. So, you know, nothing too crazy, but you get it if you pre-order. That soap pack also comes with a weapon blueprint as well. Uh, it's for an assault rifle. I think it's the M13 Snoppy, M13C. So many weapons with the same name here. This is the Shadow Siege. Go ahead, see what this looks like in game. Um, has the same pattern that was on his pants, just a slowly moving across M13C. And uh, no, this weapon does not come with tracers. 
There is one additional pre-order bonus, but this one, you have to pre-order the vault edition of the game. So you got to buy the big boy $100 edition. You're going to get the Soul Harvester M4 blueprint, which is pretty good looking. Uh, and this actually comes with bonus effects in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. This is going to spawn in with an ammo mod, making it a little bit pay to win, I guess. Some people would consider that that because it does give you additional benefits when playing Modern Warfare Zombies. Uh, and this is a pretty good looking blueprint. I it looks like zombie stuff. You got a bunch of wires, got some bloody rags at the top, got a unique looking red dot sight, and it has tracers. It's got really cool shadowy um, tracers here. I actually haven't really used this blueprint a whole lot. If we go ahead and get a kill, it's... Oh, oh they explode into blood. So pretty cool. Gonna be kind of fun using this in zombies and you'll be able to start off playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies with a weapon that spawns in with an ammo mod. But with that, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. That's all of the limited time promos that are currently out for Modern Warfare 3. However, in the next few days and next few weeks, there's probably gonna be some more of those. So I'm gonna try to keep you guys up to date on those as well. So if you wanna stay up to date with pretty much any limited time promos for Modern Warfare 3, our future Call of Duties are just unlocks in general. Make sure to unlock that subscribe button because it is my goal to keep you up to date. I'm looking out for like a Jack Lynx promo, a HyperX promo, uh, usually we see these every year. Jack Lynx has had a promo for Call of Duty for the last four years prior to this, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get one this year. They just haven't announced anything officially yet. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'll give you some quicker updates over there on the Twitter page that will be linked below. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Out of all the limited promos we showed in this video, uh, which ones are your favorite? Personally, I like when you get Operator skins. Uh, the monster promo is probably the most worth it in my opinion. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.